my dear so this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial I am going to share with you how to find out pumping power required well this is I am talking about uh, uh, flow through pipes in fluid mechanics right so pumping power required to find out this uh, I mean why I am sharing with you basically I am sharing with you this topic because uh, from this topic uh, in gate they have as question so how to find out basically pumping power required okay so basically we know that the formula the basic formula for pumping power required let's say power is equal to p is equal to rho g q h f okay so what is rho basically rho is density g is acceleration due to gravity q is discharge and h e h f is head loss okay now most important thing is that uh, to under to find out power pumping power required you need to know all these terms all these terms so in the examination they will ask you question i have gone through few question i mean more more than 10 even in this topic only so in most of the question they have given density q i mean g is not required to give q also they have given if they did not give i will tell you how to find out q but in most of the question they did not give hf what is i mean how to find out hf they did not give direct value for hf so you need to know how to find out hf to in order to find out pumping power required so the relation the relation they can make to uh, to make the question little tough in these three density q discharge hf is head loss okay so to solve problems related to this topic you need to know further formulas of these three things okay so i am going to share with you what are formulas density is mass by volume okay so volume here they will sh they can give you anything i mean uh, they can give you any shape so you need to know you do need to know how to find out volume okay first second discharge a1 a1 b1 or a v here v is not volume here v is velocity and uh, its density is kz per meter cube its unit right g we know that 9.81 meter per second square unit of q is meter q per second that is discharge okay now head loss this required to find out head loss you need to know few things so because head loss formula hf equal to f l v square f l v square by 2 g d this is the formula for finding out hf so f l v square by 2 g d so here here immediate problem you know what is that because in the question probably they will, they will give you discharge so discharge is something meter cube per second and they will give you diameter of that cross section and most probably they will give you circular cross section plus like here they will give you diameter of this circular cross section suppose that 100 mm now what we have to do basically we have to find out velocity for this for finding out head loss so for finding out velocity what we have to do velocity is equal to discharge by area of that cross section now look at its unit meter cube per second divide ad divided by meter square so this is cancelled so what will be remaining meter per second that is the unit of velocity right so this is how you can relate that's why i'm share I'm, I'm sharing with you all this because this is required to solve the numerical problems well uh, this is all about all formulas i have shared with you to find out uh, pumping power required now in the next part of this video i'm going to share with you that numerical problem yes which has been asked in gate previous year that's why you will have an approach to solve problems related to it. I'm sure these formulas will help you a lot to solve that problem. So what are we waiting for? Are you ready to go for? I mean, are ready? of course you are ready to learn that numerical problem, right? So let's go for it. <clears throat> now here in front of you right now, a question is here. 
and in this question we have given when this is the question they have asking gate right so let's read the question first water at 25 degree centigrade is following is flowing through a uh, through at one kilometer long pipe so from here we can write all those data okay so if you are beginner then first read the question then solve if you know formulas and a little bit uh, you have uh, experience to solve numerical problems related to this topic or any topic then just find out what you need to find out so to find out what you need to find out just read i mean i have i did analysis of more than 90 percent questions that if you wanted to know what to find out just read last line of the question or first line of the question now in this question if we'll read last line of the question then what you find pumping power required again the unit they have given so don't forget to keep in mind this unit because without unit you cannot solve the question right way so the unit is kilowatt right pumping power required to maintain flow is this okay now what we have given length is given this is given that is given okay no problem now what we have to do we have to first write power is equal to rho g h f into q you can say this now we will see what type what they have given in this question directly so density density they have given yeah they have density given that is thousand okay g don't need to see h f head loss they have given i don't think so they have given but q i have to see as q they have given 0 0.07 meter cube now if anyhow we can able to find out value of hf that is head loss then we can easily find out power required right and one more thing keep calculator with you so one suggestion for you if you are watching just watching this video then you will understand how to solve the problem okay but if you will keep working i mean just get pen and pencil pen and copy and start writing what question i am giving in this uh, in this uh, video taught well just read uh, write that question and solve yourself then only you will be understand you will understand how to solve you will have approach and definitely your uh, concept will build up that is required to solve numerical problems okay now this is uh, hf hf is here so what is hf how to find out basically hf that we need to understand that is flv square by 2gd now what is f friction they have given friction yeah, friction factor that is given 0 0.02 okay now l length of the that one kilometer that means thousand meter unit play most important role remember that now 2g 9.81 d they have given yes it's 0.2 because 200 mm is there now we need to find out velocity anyhow we can find out velocity then we can find out hf are you getting my point how these things are interrelated with each other that's why i have already shared with you how to find out things okay and what things we have to find out in this question all right now now what we have to find out is velocity velocity is what q y a i have already shared with you q is 0 0.07 a is pi y 4 d square 0.2 square so when, if we'll find out this value then we have to just put this value and square here again you will make mistake we'll just forget this square so don't forget this square okay now just find out this pi by 4 okay multiple point two square all right point zero seven divide this okay it's square so it is four point nine six four seven it's square multiple thousand multiple zero point two division two multiple point two multiple nine point eight one so the answer we are getting here that is 125 125 i'm getting here probably there is some mistake i'm doing okay let's check it i mean let let me just check it out then i will share with you okay yeah so basically what exactly we do is just we do square already this so uh, after getting after squaring we are getting this value 0.49647 right now 
सो फोर पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फोर सेवन मल्टीपल थाउजेंड मल्टीपल पॉइंट जीरो टू डिविजन टू मल्टीपल पॉइंट टू मल्टीपल नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इज इक्वल टू दिस इज वी आर गेटिंग हियर ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री जीरो एच एफ इन मीटर लॉस दिस शुड बी इन मीटर so uh, we find out we have find out that at value of hf so we just need to put this value here 25.30 now just to multiplication 1000 multiple 25.3 okay so we get we are getting here 1737 because they have asked to find out value in kilowatts so i have to divide by 1000 so 17.37 kilowatt is the answer now we have to check out which yeah, which with which one this answer is matching okay we can easily say, yeah 17.4 is here so option d is the right answer for this question so this is how we can solve question related to it and related to this topic thanks for watching See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.